everyone. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And tell one friend about RJK English, especially if you have been helped by these videos. It really helps us. And hit us up on Facebook and we can have a further conversation. So today we're going to talk about using the phrase, I bet. We use this all the time in American English. You will probably hear me say it while I'm on this video. I bet you'll hear me. So we use it in two different ways. One is kind of betting. Betting is gambling. I don't gamble and a lot of people don't actually gamble. But let's say that you're going to the mall and there's this guy, he's a guy you know at school or at work. He's always at the mall. And you say to your friend, I bet you five bucks we're gonna see Ravi Singh at the mall. He's always there. I bet you five bucks. So here I'm actually saying, I will bet you this amount. This means that it's probable they'll be there and you are under the thought that they'll be there. Now your friend might turn to you and go, I'll take your bet, I'll take your bet, five bucks. And you'll probably say, hey man, I'm just, I'm just talking, but I, I think he'll be there. But sometimes you'll say, yeah, okay, five bucks. I bet we'll see him today. Okay, so that's the first one, betting. You know, it means that you think it's probable something is going to happen. The other way is approximation. So you ask me, hey, Alex, how many times a week do you go out walking? Um, I bet I go out two times a week, probably two times a week. I bet I go out two times a week. So this isn't betting. This is saying approximately approximately I go out two times a week and it kind of means I'm betting five dollars that but we don't say that you wouldn't say I bet five dollars I go out two times a week when you say I bet five dollars you're challenging the other person a little bit here you just mean approximately oh this is the other way we use it if your friend is going says they're going to do something and you don't think they're going to do it or you want to make sure they do it so your friend says I think I can jump down all of those steps. And you say, I bet you won't. This is also a form of the betting, but you're challenging him. You're saying, do it. And you might even say, I bet you 10 bucks you won't. Then they might actually say, oh, okay, I'll take you on that 10 bucks. You'll give me 10 bucks if I jump down these steps. So that's a little bit different, but we do use it that way as well. Let's say someone's asking you whether you'll do something. Hey, are you going to be at the party next week? You say, you bet. You bet, I'll be there. Yeah, you bet. What you're saying when you say this is, you can bet on it that I will be there. You could gamble money on it that I will be there. It's a sure bet because I will be there. So you say, you bet. Sometimes we'll even use it just to mean, yeah, yes. Uh, do you play basketball? Yeah, you bet. I play basketball. But mostly we mean it for, I will be there or I will do something, something like that. You can bet on it is another phrase. It basically means the same thing as this. Notice that I don't use a very complex form of this because we're talking slang now. And this creeps into our business relationships as well. If I was speaking more formally, I would say, I will bet you that, or I'll bet you that. But we don't. We say, I bet you that. I bet you that. Or I bet you. Or even just, I bet. I bet he'll be there. I bet you that he'll be there. Okay, so I hope this is useful to you. See you guys. Hi everyone, welcome to RJK English. Make sure to like and subscribe, and that will help me make more of these videos. I'm on YouTube and on Instagram, and see us on Facebook, and we can talk further.